Dan and Nikki. I figure while I'm making this drive, uh, and Marshall's on his computer, I may as well make a video. Um, I tried to make this already, and I talked for probably 10 minutes and uh, wasn't recording, unfortunately. So, I, uh, you know, I've been thinking about why I've not been making videos, and I feel like I've not been really doing much of interest, uh, or that there's a lot, not been a lot of interest going on here. I've been water skiing a lot, but again, I realized that that has only limited interest. Once you've seen one water skiing video, you've probably seen them all. Um, I've have, I have had some great wipeouts, but unfortunately we haven't captured those on video. Um, the, um, uh, in, well, let's see, Dan, you're, I watched your video last night about how hot it was, and, um, and I don't know if you were getting the same heat, Nikki, on the west side, uh, but man, we have not been getting that here. Uh, we've actually, it feels like fall has really hit here uh, for the last week or so. And we were hot, man. We were in the 90s, and then suddenly it switched, and leaves started falling off the tree. The highs have been in the 60s. The lows have been in the 40s. Um, and there have been frost. Uh, we had one morning in northern Minnesota that was 27 degrees uh, three or four days ago. Um, you know, that hasn't stopped us from water skiing, of course. We still plan on going out, hopefully skiing through October. Uh, we just are going to have to wear a full wetsuit when we do it. Um, as to the water skiing, I told, I, I commented a little bit in one of my previous videos about the problem I'm having with my knee. I, I twisted it in a fall about a month ago, and it's been really, really swollen up my left knee. Uh, sometimes I can't hardly even walk. Um, so obviously it makes it hard to get out to ski, especially if you don't have great technique or even good technique. Um, in particular, when we're skiing the course, um, because my left foot is in, you know, in back, when I'm going right to left behind the boat, um, it puts a little more pressure on my left knee as I pull across my body, as opposed to going left to right. Um, I mean, I can go, you know, I can cross the wake almost three times as fast going left to right as I can right to left. So it's a bit frustrating because I can't, I can't quite get around, you know, the buoys um, going in that, in that one direction. So, uh, but, it, but I have enjoyed, you know, being out. It's just been, even in the cool weather, it's beautiful out there on the river. Uh, the pelicans should be um, doing their migration through Minnesota here real, I mean, through Winona and that river valley really soon. Um, we see blue herons every single day. We see bald eagles every single day when we're out. Um, it's just really, really pretty out there, um, regardless of what the weather is. You know, and you know how I feel, even in the winter when we're hiking out there on the frozen backwaters, I think it's pretty. Um, the, uh, the other thing I guess I'm involved in, of course, is the play. Uh, it's called The Drowned Man. I don't know if, what I told you last time. I'm not even sure if I had a title last time. I made a video about it. But the director of the play is named Lee. He's the new managing director for the Shakespeare Festival. The previous managing director, Dan, is the one who wrote the play. Um, it's, um, and I'm enjoying, I'm enjoying being a part of it. Uh, I only have four lines in the first act. So I've not been, you know, doing a lot of rehearsal lately. Uh, but the second act starts heavy next next week, um, and um, so we'll be, um, you know, I've gotten probably a third of my lines memorized so far. Um, but it's, it's fun to be a part of it, and plus they pay me 250 bucks, so you know who can complain, right? Um, and um, The, uh, and astronomy, I think I told you guys I was taking an astronomy class at Winona State. Uh, the woman who's teaching it, Jen Anderson, oh, by the way, Dan, I asked her about that impact crater, and she's got a database listing all impact craters in the, uh, on the planet, um, and could not find any record of an impact crater in that part of Oregon, or really any part of Oregon. So, anyway, would you, um, I'm going to watch your video again and bring that specific location into her and see what we can dig up. Um, 
And um, but I'm really enjoying the astronomy class so far. We've spent most of our time on the Earth Sun Moon system. Um, you know, talking about uh, sort of being able to visualize stepping off of the Earth and looking back at it and seeing the Earth. Um, oh, bloody hell! Road construction and seeing the Earth. Um, uh, rotate on its axis and then seeing it orbit around the sun and then seeing the um, um, the moon orbit around the earth um, and we talked to, you know a bit about lunar phases and eclipses both solar and lunar um, and the geometry of what causes those um, and the frequency with which you can expect them to happen. So it's anyway, it's really interesting. I'm, I'm really enjoying the class. And Jen Anderson, the, the professor, is that's the woman who I went and talked to about the video of that impact crater Dan you sent me a couple years ago, which we never did figure out, by the way. So why don't you tell me where that was now, if you don't mind? Um, and uh, but she's a really a great professor, uh, very fun. Even though this is just a 100 level class. Um, you know, I'm still really enjoying it. So, um, we've got our first test on Friday and she's doing a kind of a cool thing with the test where it's, it's like 25 questions long, um, multiple choice, of course. So you do the first 20 questions by yourself and then you redo those same, and then you turn that sheet in and then you redo the, the same 20 questions, but in a, in a small group you, of your choosing, you get to choose whoever you want to be with. And so you get to debate the answers and debate the questions. Um, you don't have to, the group doesn't have to turn in all the same answer, but it gives you a chance to, you know, bounce questions off classmates. And then you do five additional questions um, by yourself again. So um, anyway, I'm looking, uh, I'm looking forward to it. Um, you know, testing, I kind of like taking tests anyway. So um um, we also talked about, you know, today we actually talked about Voyager 1 and Voyager 2, which launched in, what, 70, 77, 78, I think? 77, they, they launched. Um, they were only uh, projected to last for five years, and now and it's been 36 years, and we're still getting data from them. Um, and they've just left um, our solar system. Uh, solar system being defined as... Um, it's, uh, it's like the reach of Earth's magnetic field um, and something that it does to charging ions uh, because what happens is once it gets past literally a certain point you know you'll, you'll see that the charged particles decrease 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 and then once you get to that critical point they just literally fall off the map so it's actually pretty cool um, so Voyager, both the Voyagers have now gone beyond our solar system, which is just really kind of staggering to think about the fact that we're still getting data from them. We're still able to communicate with them. Um, so I think that's, I think that's pretty cool. Um, we also talked about precession, which is the whole idea that Earth is wobbling on its axis while it rotates. So that, you know, for example, the North Star... Uh, Polaris is directly above the North Pole uh, right now. Um, in 13,000 years, it's going to point somewhere different altogether, so that there's a 26,000 year cycle for the Earth wobbling around like that. Um, and the interesting thing is, is when you start, you know, we talk about how do we know these things? Well, we know these things because of star charts that we have from four and five thousand years ago and we can look at the difference now versus the difference then stars are all the same but the earth's position relative to them and its pole relative to them has changed which is which is pretty cool um, and uh, um, yeah so that's all I've got I guess I will in this video and uh, hopefully you guys are well. And I will, of course, shoot more video of Iron and Wine. And, um, uh, yeah, so go USA. Marshall says go USA, too. Go USA.